All right, it's time to seize the moment and get creative. And I know just the way to do it. How about making your own greeting cards, your own calendars, preserving your memories and sharing them with everyone? Let me show you how to do it. Here I have the ArcSoft Print Creation software, and it comes free on the installation disk for your Epson Artisan. Let's run through a couple of the options and see what we can create. There's the half-fold greeting card, a photo book, photo calendar, photo prints, and a whole lot more. But for this demonstration, let's start with the photo calendar. So I select it, and then I click Start. Now, there's several different themes to choose from. I'm going to go with Sweet Dreams. All right, here's what the cover of our calendar is going to look like. Let's jump in a couple months and uh, play around with some pictures, see what kind of look we can get. So here's the cover of our Sweet Dreams calendar. Let's click in a few, and we'll customize one of the months. Hmm, may look pretty good. All right, so now we have these areas here to add in our very own pictures. How do we do that? I'm going to click up here to Get Pictures. Then I go ahead in here and I select the photos I want to use. There we go. Those two should work great and then I click Next. All right, I see my two photos here are primed and ready to use. So all I have to do now is drag them into place. Ah, well, I've cut the tops of their heads off. Nobody likes that. So all I have to do is use this hand and kind of grab them and yank them on down here. Now I can position them where I need them for just the right look. All right, next step. Let's drag in a second photo down here to the bottom. All right, it looks pretty good, but they're kind of far away. So let's see if we can zoom in a bit. And just like that, they're getting that much closer. And then I can put them into position. Hmm. Well, something seems a little odd about their angle compared to the angle of the little photo opening. So why don't I try and rotate that just a little bit? Ah, perfect. I wonder what other kind of options we have here. If I click on Edit Photo, you'll see that if there was a problem with red eye, we could remove that, auto enhance the picture. There's also sliders for brightness, contrast, saturation, and sharpen. If we wanted to, we could even add a color effect, some kind of like a monochromatic or black and white look. Well, I like the photo the way it is, so I'm just going to say OK. So now that we've got our photos in place, let's see what we can do about adding a little text. Right here, Enter Description Here pops up, and if I click on that, it'll actually give me options to edit the text. Now I could put in something like um, May Wedding. Now I can adjust things like the font and whether or not I'd like it to be bold or italic. Once I'm happy, I click on OK. Once everything's ready to go, it's time to start printing. And you can get going by clicking on Prints. Here you have all the settings, so make sure that you have your Epson Artisan selected as the printer. For paper brand, I recommend sticking with Epson paper. It's a good idea to use the same brand of paper as your printer. Then I have letter 8.5 by 11 for the paper size. And for media type, I'm going with a presentation paper mat, so I'll select that from the list. When you're ready to go, all you have to do is hit the print button and you're off and running. Look, you can have this much fun too, because the ArcSoft Print Creation software comes free on the installation disk for your Epson Artisan. You can make greeting cards, holiday cards, photo books, calendars. The possibilities go on and on. So go have a good time with it. I'm going to get back to work and make sure everyone I know gets a copy of my wonderful calendars. All right, see you soon. Epson. Exceed 
your vision.